morning, Discovery, and a special good morning to you, Steve Lindsay. Good morning, Mike, and uh, thanks to my family for that song. Houston and Discovery from the station for Robo, starting uh, gravel now. Discovery copies. Houston copies. And this begins our robotics operations today as the station's arm will be used to reach over, grab onto the OBSS, lift it out of the payload bay, and hand it off to Discovery's robotic arm. Houston and Discovery, you are go for SRMS OBSS grapple. Okay, Nicole, okay, describe your day. All right, can you see the cupola? Yes, they can. All right, so this is a beautiful place to work from. You'll see we're pointing towards the earth. Um, just beautiful panoramic windows, and very fortunately, we have the robotics workstation set up in here so that we can work with both the uh, um, station arm and then in partnership with uh, the guys over on the shuttle who have the shuttle robotic arm. And today, um, Mike and I did some work uh, moving the big shuttle boom out and around and handing it off to the um, shuttle arm. Munich, station and two then, um, Later, Katie and I got to do a task that we call a walk-off, which is where we take one end of the arm, put it on a place on the station, take the other end off, and now the base and the uh, tip are um, exchanged. So basically, this arm is very cool because you can move it all over the space station to different spots, and it gives you different access to um, do all kinds of work across the space station. What are you up to today? I am tra I'm a transfer in I'm delivering the crew care package, snackage, coffee cakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Katie. Yes. Oh, she's in the. She's in the couple. So that's your day today. Uh, a little robotics this morning. Did OBSS handover and uh, doing transfer and uh, learning how much I don't know about location codes. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting there. Tell us what you've done today. So well, let's see. I uh, I got up. I flew through this magnificent station, and then uh, I got to remove the OBSS from the payload bay, twirl it around, and hand it off to the shuttle arm, so the shuttle guys can uh, that's us you now uh, use it to look around. And then I did the uh, activation checkout of the new tonometer with our eye simulators, and now I get to go exercise. Mostly, I'm just enjoying being back on this magnificent stack of modules. <laughs> I remember the first shuttle flight back in 1981. My three daughters don't. They have no idea. Do you think space travel is getting to be old news? What's next for NASA after the shuttle program is retired? Well, I think the objective that NASA set out back in 58 was that, that space travel shouldn't really be news after a while. It should be part of our routine existence. And so to think that we've had the space station continually inhabit it for the last 10 years, so there are fifth graders who've never known the space station not to be in space with astronauts on board, I think is a major success, a milestone for NASA. Uh, so what I look forward to in the future is when space travel becomes routine. Uh, just as back in the 1930s only daredevils and barnstormers took to the skies and now we have everybody flying around on airlines, uh, at some point in, uh, before these children become old, uh, we should have routine travel, people above the planet here, and above Earth here, and maybe traveling out to the moon. Uh, for NASA, I think to push out into the solar system is what's next for us, to uh, go to the moon, uh, go to Mars, the asteroid belt, uh, to go and explore, to push out the frontiers, which we've been doing since 1958. So here we have B. Alvin Drew and Steve Bowen, uncharacteristically speechless. Actually, they can't talk because they're wearing masks. And the reason they're wearing masks is because they're terribly comfortable. And they're starting to uh, pre-breathe oxygen to wash the nitrogen out of their bodies, getting ready for their spacewalk tomorrow. In about a half hour, we're going to shut the door here, and they're going to depress down to uh, about 10.2 PSI, roughly about 10,000 feet in altitude. And they'll uh, spend the night there, and uh, we'll let them out for a short time in the morning to uh, hit the bathroom and clean up a little bit, and then we'll go back in here, and they'll be on masks for that. And uh, once they get back in here, we'll get them all dressed up in their spacesuits and ready to go out the door. And our commander has given them all sorts of words of encouragement and uh, also told them if they do a bad job, he won't let them back in. So with that, I think we are ready for spacewalk ops tomorrow.